What's up everybody, it's your boy Mike, Hulk Crypto Mining, and today we're gonna to be reviewing a brand new product from tempcube.io. Without further ado guys, let's roll the intro, let's roll the ad, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here's their website, tempcube.io. We actually checked it out, we looked into it, and they are legit, everything seems to be good to go. So they actually reached out to me, by the way, full transparency, and they wanted me to do a review on their product. Now they did send it to me about a week ago, but I've been extremely busy with the new facility, that's why I haven't made any videos in the last couple of weeks, which I am really sorry about that. But anyway, they sent me the light and the pro version, so we're gonna unbox them and we're gonna compare them and see how they operate. Okay, so, I did open this box prior to making the video, but that's just to make sure everything is in there so we don't do an unboxing and it's missing something or whatever, but they did send everything with the box, so it's good to go, so let's open it. Okay, so it looks like it comes with a card. Comes with some good instructions here. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like some warranty information, and then here it is. So this is the light version. Okay, looks pretty cool. Can you see it? There we go, in focus. All right, and let's see. Okay, so it looks like it comes in a bracket which is pretty cool. Looks like you can stick it onto a wall. Um, looks like it pops out fairly easy. So we'll pop this out. All right, cool. So there you go. So this is the light version of the temp cube, right? Looks pretty good, right? I think so. Um, looks like you can put it anywhere too. So you just maybe plop this on the wall and put this in like this. And there you go. Seems pretty easy to me. Uh, comes with a wall charger and a USB, which is pretty cool. There you go. USB, ball charger, and it comes with this pin here. Now I'm assuming that's just to reset the device if there's an issue, but that's pretty cool. They give you that. And what you have to do is you have to download the app on your phone. Make sure you do that and follow the instructions. It's actually pretty simple to set up, guys. So this looks pretty good. It looks like it's made well. Uh, doesn't feel cheap at all. Looks like it'll run pretty good, right? Let's check out the Pro, see if it matches up. Okay, so first thing I noticed unboxing the Pro is that this is significantly smaller than the light. Now, it does have an LCD screen on it, so you can read your information right there. It also comes with the same clip, which seems pretty easy to put together. I mean, just snap it in and you can put it up on a wall, so that's pretty good. Uh, also, it does come with the charging cables and it comes with this pin. Now, the pin I was talking about, guys, is this thing right here, okay? It's this little pin here. Now, probably can't see it. Let me see. There you go. It's that little pin there. So yeah, there you go. So in case you gotta reset it or take your SIM card out of your phone. Either way, this is a really cool thing to have. Okay, so here's the light on their website. So right now it's going for $79, which is about 47% off. So I don't know how long this discount's gonna last. So if you're interested, make sure you check it out. But anyway, I have to look at my notes because I do take notes when I make videos. This comes with a fully rechargeable battery, unlimited history data logger, okay? It's Alexa compatible and it's zero subscription to use this unit. So you have web login and remote access basically for free, which I think is really cool because a lot of people will charge you these subscriptions and you gotta pay all this extra money. There's a lot of hidden stuff, not with the light. So for 80 bucks, this is actually not a bad value in my opinion, but make sure you do your own research and look into it yourself, see if it's the right fit for you. Okay, so looking at the Pro, now the main differences between the Pro that I can tell just by opening the box is that it's size and the LCD screen. Now, I know the Pro is about double in price, so I'm not sure if I would spend the extra money just for an LCD screen. I do look at it this way as well. I always wanna know what's exactly on the device. Now your phone can die, the app cannot work for whatever reason, or you just have poor reception in your building and then you're not gonna know and then it's gonna render this useless. So having the screen I think is a major, major plus. And for double the price, is it worth it? I'm not really sure, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare both of these guys and I'm gonna give you another video where we're gonna see which one lasts longer, we're gonna see if the temperatures are accurate with both of them, and we're gonna see what the major differences are, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Hawk, why would I need a temp cube? I can monitor the temperature on Hive OS, I can set a watchdog, why would I need it? Sometimes the APIs on the software, guys, they just don't work. 
And that's just the, the fact of it. If you've been a crypto miner a long time, you're gonna know that sometimes they're reading backwards. Sometimes the watchdogs don't work. You gotta reset things. So why not have an extra layer of protection that you can get a straight text message to your phone? I mean, that in of itself is amazing. So honestly, guys, that's the only reason why I would even buy it. It's just an extra layer of protection. And why not? You know, if something goes off or the humidity gets too high, you know, you're really not gonna get that reading from Hive OS or even Simple Mining, at least not to my knowledge. And if there is, please let me know in the comment section below. But even having that alone is awesome. So that's why I would get it. It's just an extra layer of protection and help you sleep better at night. Don't forget to download the Temp Cube app. It's really user friendly. You can connect all your devices to it, monitor your temperature from anywhere in the world, set your parameters and see any alerts. It's really cool, guys. Check it out. On the second part of this video, I'm going to show you guys how well the app worked, but they say it works flawlessly with the devices, so we'll put their word to the test. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. That's the end of this review. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any more information you may want from TempCube. I have no problem sending them an email and letting them know what people are thinking. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one. Hawk out.